just rolling. He is the loudest smacker on the face of the earth, okay? Stop! Oh! I can't handle this. Stop! <laughs> Cheers. Howdy everybody, I'm Maddie Warren and welcome to Wild Fixins. One of my favorite hunts to go on is pig hunts. I've done that ever since I was a little girl and now we've got night vision and thermal equipment so we go year round which means we have an endless supply of pork. So today I'm going to show you a pork recipe that has a little bit of a flair of Maddie to it. That just means it has my three main staples, meat, cheese and spice. We're doing a pork backstrap that's going to be stuffed with jalapenos and cream cheese and then wrapped in bacon. So to start out with, you'll see that I butterflied the back strap open just to make it nice and flat and it's going to make it easy to stuff. Our next step is to mix together a block of room temperature cream cheese and a can of jalapeno jelly. All right, now that we've got it all mixed up, it's time to get to stuffing. Okay, now we're going to roll it up and uh, brush it with some olive oil and you can just season it to your liking. And this is my go-to seasoning. It's called Mr. K's Original Spice, or Signature Spice. I like this because it goes on everything. You can literally use it on Bloody Marys, you can use it on any meat. I put it on popcorn, I put it on my potatoes, everything. So I strongly recommend checking them out, and they're family friends, so do them a favor. All right, our next step is to wrap it in bacon. Now that it's wrapped up real good, we're gonna get some butcher's twine to tie it off just to make sure that the bacon is secure and that oozy, gooey cheese doesn't come out when it's on the grill. I'm gonna go heat up the grill and that's its next stop. All right, while I'm heating up my grill, let me tell you about it. It's a Traeger, which means it's not just an ordinary grill. It bakes and smokes as well. So this is the only thing I'm gonna have to use today. If you don't have a Traeger, that's cool. You can still do this recipe and use a traditional grill and then just bake it in the after process. But I'm going to use this the whole time. So I'm gonna get it heated up right now and I'm going to turn it on smoke to get it going and then I'm going to turn it on high. All right, we've got our grill heated. We're gonna place this bad boy on there for about 20 minutes and then take it off, wrap it in some aluminum foil, and if you don't have a Traeger, stick it in your oven for three to four hours depending on the size of the back strap. And then um, I'm gonna stick it back on the Traeger at 250 for about three or four hours. And we'll see how she turns out. All right, now it's time to take this bad boy off the grill. Woo, smells good. Wrap it up, and then I'm gonna stick mine back on the Traeger at 250 and leave it here for a couple hours. And it'll be time to eat. good. This recipe puts to rest all the rumors that wild pork is too gamey and doesn't have enough flavor. I mean the cheese and the jalapeno and the bacons make for a great recipe. The gravy, it's great on the potatoes. So cheers. Cheers to some wild fixing. <laughs> if y'all have any questions, comments, or suggestions, post them below and I'll make sure and get back with you. Until next time.